but I don't think the game is good, right? But it is one thing. Warzone is one thing, and it's. What's going on, guys? It's Omniarch, and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're gonna be talking about the game mode that you guys have been begging me to play, Call of Duty Warzone. So Warzone came out March 10th, and I don't think I've gone a single day since then without having somebody from my personal life or online ask me, have you played Warzone? What do you think of Warzone? Do you like Warzone? What are your thoughts? You know, this and that. I love it. It's so great. What do you think? Like every single day, right? Multiple times a day. In fact, people have been asking me or asking to play with them and things like that. And I love that, right? I love that people, even in my personal life, see me as like the Call of Duty guy, right? I, I think that's really cool. But as you probably have seen from the title of this video, I do have some pretty black and white opinions on Warzone that I think are, uh, it's probably the unpopular opinion right now. Um, but a couple of weeks from now, I think everybody's going to probably fall into this same basket. And that is that I don't think Warzone really brings that much to the table and certainly not enough to impress me. Now, I know some of you guys are probably saying, well, Omniarch, you've been hating on Modern Warfare since like the second week that it came out. So you're obviously biased and you're right about that. But hear me out. I do have some objective criticisms, I think. Uh, and let me preface this by saying when Warzone was announced, I intentionally did not watch any videos, read any articles, watch any trailers. I didn't read any tweets about it. I didn't anything. I didn't want to get hyped up. I don't want to get excited. I didn't even want to know about the game mode until it came out, right? That was my stance for two reasons. One, well, I don't really like modern warfare. I just, I don't like the game. So for me, I didn't really care. And two, I wanted to be surprised if the game mode was actually good, then I wanted to just fall in love with it. You know, I didn't want to go in with any expectations because I think expectations right now are really what ruin some games you know big triple a titles come out there's all this marketing hype all this pr hype and then you know all these expectations are so high there's just no way that the game could obviously could could possibly live up to that right and so for those reasons i didn't go into warzone with any expectations whatsoever other than being slightly biased and not liking modern warfare but this was a whole new game mode and i was willing to accept that okay this is a battle royale it's going to function differently than modern warfare so i tried to kind of just forget that aspect even though it looks and feels like it you know it is a separate mode and my my first you know when people kept saying oh have you tried it yet have you tried it yet the first couple of days i hadn't had a chance to play it because i was working that weekend um and my first question was well how is it compared to blackout and everyone's response everyone's response was oh it, i definitely like it better than blackout or it, it's definitely better than blackout and how like i don't like and i know that sounds like again that that's not an objective criticism but but hear me out like what makes it better right so if we take a look at what warzone has to offer it is a call of duty battle royale right same sort of structure as blackout they do have the monetary system in Warzone, which, you know, that's kind of cool. Um, if you find enough money to purchase different guns or kill streaks and things like that, like, okay, I get how that can be, you know, interesting to people. There's also the Gulag, right? You do have the ability to revive yourself essentially, and it's sort of based on skill. Um, depends on your connection and things like that. You could just get one shot in the head from a pistol, but regardless, you know, there's these features that are, you know, systems in the game mode that differentiate it from Blackout, right? But Blackout also had zombies, which is pretty cool. We don't see that in Warzone. So it's not like Warzone just made a better Battle Royale. It's just a different one, right? It's just different. But at the end of the day, um, oh, and I should give them credit, right? They did remove all of the stupid little attachments and like scopes and things like that where you have to go in and micromanage your weapons and stuff i hated that about blackout i thought that was garbage so i'm glad they got rid of that i'll give them credit they do deserve that um it, the the things that you can pick up are more meaningful in 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 warzone for sure but at the end of the day we're just playing modern warfare battle royale right which it's virtually you know i hate to say it but to me it feels like blackout 
it does i i don't maybe i'm wrong am i the only one who feels this way i don't know it, it feels like blackout I mean, they're both call of duty battle royales right like that it's pretty much the same thing the one thing i will say is that i do like how before the warzone match starts you actually get to fight players by just jumping into a large arcade map and honestly that's the most fun i've had in warzone like the pre-match lobbies are the most fun i've had because they're arcadey there's no tactics there you're just dropping in and just shooting people and like that how could you mess that up like that's fun right that's cool you drop in you just start killing people who cares right sometimes you get a really cheeky drop and you land right on top of a guy with a sniper and point blank he can't hear you boom you get that kill right and these kills count towards your experience and your guns and everything like that which is cool right i think that's a really like that's the best pre match lobby experience out of any battle royale in my opinion super cool um and because that carries into multiplayer right for modern warfare which i think is awesome but the gameplay still suffers from the same thing that i dislike about blackout and apex and i mean fortnite's the only one that doesn't have this problem and that's that it's boring unless you're fighting someone you're bored right the only reason that that's not the case for fortnite is because they did implement um you know pve npcs basically as well as you know accumulating different materials that's something that you can do in between engagements right you can collect materials and and that has a meaningful impact on the entire game on the end game it's something you have to do and it keeps you kind of distracted and searching and things like that and of course it does get boring after a while but my point is in a game like warzone yeah you can search chest and hope that you find money and stuff like that but really it's just a pretty quiet map you have a huge advantage if you're camping right and i think a lot of people have already figured this out if you're still and quiet you can really melt people if you get the jump on them and you know that leads to a slower game that leads to slower gameplay which to me is boring i'm kind of under the opinion that if you want to play a battle royale that isn't cartoony and doesn't have building right then apex is the best one to me i still think apex is the best i don't even play apex it had its moment and i thought it was cool and and whatever um but it, it battle royales i'm i'm finding um aren't my cup of tea which is fine you know it's fine i think fortnite is the best one because it has the most to do and it has the best system and it's gonna age the best for sure based on the graphical style but regardless um i just don't see where warzone is going to be better than apex right i honestly think that because think about this right two years from now apex can be on season 12 or whatever warzone's gonna be deserted just like blackout is right now is warzone gonna be a one-year thing right like if it's a one-year thing the game is dead on arrival like i already i already can't it takes a while to find 150 players it does sometimes i'm in a pre-match lobby for like five minutes right and thank god they gave us something to do but they were ambitious with the 150 player count and i think that they were hoping that by having such a higher player base the game would be faster paced because you'd be running into people more often um but a lot of times the game will start with 130 players or 120 players because they just can't get 150 and that's a bad sign because the game's been out for eight days if you can't fill your lobbies eight days after launch like it's dead on arrival i'm sorry it, it is um so they either need to lower it back down to 100 or implement bots which fortnite has done i don't know what the answer is there i'm not a game developer probably bots are the better option to keep it faster paced but i'm not sure um but again the fact that it takes so long for me even and some of my friends to find a lobby five minutes right like that doesn't sound like a lot but you could play a whole match of multiplayer in five minutes um so yeah i think that's a bad sign for the game eight days after launch like it's taking the full matchmaking period to start a game like i don't know that doesn't feel good to me um and i don't think it differentiates itself enough from other realistic battle royales i don't think it's that much better than blackout i think they did improve it a little bit right with like what you can pick up and how the guns work and the fact that you can buy loadouts and such but i don't think the game is good right but it is one thing warzone is one thing and it's new 
that's what it is warzone is new and so there's hype around it people are excited about it it's free to play like that's awesome um but that doesn't make it good right just because everyone's playing it right now doesn't mean it's good it just means it's new it's fresh it's you know whatever but you know again a couple weeks from now when everybody knows the map pretty well and everyone knows what the best guns are and stuff like it's gonna fall to the wayside just like blackout did and i don't see truthfully how it differentiates itself enough to be better than blackout and certainly i don't think either battle royale are better than apex which falls within the same niche they're both realistic free to play battle royales like they both have shield systems they both have snipers shotguns fully automatics like i don't know i think apex is is has staying power whereas warzone is going to last for just this year and you know another thing that concerns me about warzone and this is again objectively speaking this is just a concern based on fact is that was this game supposed was this mode supposed to come out now like was it supposed to come out with the launch of the game it feels like it was just delayed it feels like it wasn't ready at launch and they were forced to delay it you know and you could argue well they wanted to release it in the spring to kind of revitalize the game because everyone knows it dies down after february which i get right i understand that that would be strategic but to me you know if there's tons of of articles out there that have talked about warzone being delayed we've gone the last couple months people saying we heard there was battle royale where is it we don't have any updates we don't have and then there's people coming out and saying well yeah the the development team is is so small they're spread so thin like you know it's it's taking longer than anticipated and that's concerning like how are they gonna keep up with fortnite in 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 the realm of constant content releases to keep players engaged i don't think they can i don't even think they can keep up with apex right i think apex has really done a great job the first season lasted a bit long but after that they've kind of really ramped up the seasons and what they have to offer i don't again i don't play apex but i watch people on twitch and stuff and that seems to be the consensus and it seems like there's a pretty strong community for that game and, and again if warzone was delayed which <laughs> Whether they want to admit it or not, I feel like it was, right? I feel like it was. Regardless of them, you know, they could say, oh, this was strategic. Maybe, right? Maybe. But I think it's more likely that they've spread the development team out so thin that it actually took them longer than they anticipated to really perfect uh, Warzone. And, and that only means a further decline down the line because that same team is going to be so spread thin that releasing new content updates and patches and things like that are probably going to be pretty slow as well. Um, and, and again, that just to me combined with the fact that i'm already waiting the full matchmaking period to get into a game just shows me that this game is it's kind of dead on arrival right because i don't see how it's that much better than blackout um but what it is is it's new and so if you enjoy warzone like totally like kudos to you i'll probably continue playing it just to kind of maybe reformulate my opinion on it um but as it stands like i just don't really get it i don't get the hype um it's the same hype that was around blackout and i didn't get it then either so i guess it's just not for me i don't know i would love to hear your opinions and your comments in the comment section below on this video do you feel the same way as me or did i miss the mark I i'm really i'm i'm curious right i really would like to know um drop a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed this video if you want to see more videos like this one make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications at the time of recording this i have 6980 subscribers which means i'm like 20 subs away from 7,000, which is crazy so if you guys could help me out i would really appreciate that um and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace